For several years, Albemarle County has been planning and developing a new public park on 1,200 acres in and around the Biscuit Run Stream Valley. As part of this effort, the county studied the natural condition of the property. This included assessing the health and stability of five miles of stream and opportunities for ecological improvement. Out of that investigation came the Biscuit Run Stream Restoration Master Plan, which envisions four phases of restoration work to alleviate badly eroding stream banks and excessive sediment pollution. The plan recommends starting with the largest and most downstream stretch of Biscuit Run, which flows through the park, over one mile of stream. Currently, the stream is surrounded by mature forest, so you might wonder, how can a stream in a forest not be healthy? Looking at aerial photography from 1937, we can see that the land around Biscuit Run was used intensively for pasture and crops. We don't know how long this land was used this way, but while it was, there were very few tree roots to hold the soil and stream banks together when it rained. These types of intensive land uses and the resulting erosion and sedimentation of streams were not uncommon in the Albemarle County of the early 1900s. But as the uses of this land eventually changed, trees gradually came back to the Biscuit Run Valley. We might imagine that the stream erosion stopped when the trees returned to the landscape. Unfortunately, the legacy of those previous land uses still shows its mark. Once the stream banks had eroded badly enough, they became vertical walls trapping stormwater within the channel. Now, when water rises during storms, it can't easily escape into the floodplain and has no choice but to eat away more at the stream bank walls and dump the sediment in the stream. Studies of Biscuit Run show that this excessive sediment has damaged the habitat of aquatic creatures that live on the stream bottom, to the point that this part of the stream is officially designated as impaired by the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality. Only the passage of centuries, or intervention, can interrupt this cycle of erosion and sedimentation. By intervening with restoration, we can provide an ecological uplift that will allow the stream valley to heal within a matter of years rather than centuries. The primary method of restoration that will be used in the first phase of the Biscuit Run Stream Restoration Project is one that mimics the function of beaver dams. This restoration approach is quite new to our region, but two recent projects in Maryland and Virginia can paint a picture of what the construction process might look like in Biscuit Run. Using materials found on site, the stream restoration contractor will build log jam structures at various points along nearly one mile of stream. These structures are made using posts intertwined with root wads, trunks, and branches from on-site trees. Strategic anchoring of the logs into the stream bank will help ensure the log jams will stay in place during large storms and flooding. Soil and biodegradable matting are added to hold the log jams in place and to ensure that they can sufficiently hold back water. The construction methods are a combination of science and art. The log jam style of restoration was chosen over more traditional styles of stream restoration, partly to reduce tree clearing and earth moving in the stream valley. At the downstream end of the project, the restoration crew will shape the stream banks to a gentle slope and install a series of riffles and pools that step down to meet the existing elevation of Biscuit Run. A pump will be used to divert stream flow around each work area to minimize muddy water. After completion of the earthwork, the disturbed areas and stream buffer zone will be planted with native plants. Over the course of weeks, each log jam will block the flow of water and eventually create a string of pools and wetlands in the valley bottom. There will be immediate hydrological benefits. When it rains, stormwater coming into the stream will finally be able to spread out and slow down in the floodplain, reducing erosion of the stream banks and reducing flood intensities downstream of the park. By holding more water on the landscape, this project will also help mitigate the effects of drought. With changes in hydrology and sunlight availability, the plant community will evolve over the subsequent months and years. Trees, shrubs, and herbaceous plants that do well in wet, sunny conditions will thrive, while those that do not will be set back. Effort will be put into controlling fast-growing invasive species so that native plants have a chance to get well established. In the Biscuit Run Stream Restoration Project, we expect immediate and long-term benefits for wildlife, 
Water-loving creatures like turtles, dragonflies, frogs, salamanders, and birds will quickly take advantage of the slow-moving water and wetlands for habitat and food. An existing population of beavers inhabits an old farm pond on the Biscuit Run Park property. Over time, we hope that beavers will move in and adopt the log jams as their own, helping to maintain this exciting and innovative restoration project.